Hi, my name is James. I'm going to show you how to install a gas line to a stove inside of our house. I've already got the gas line going to the furnace. I've already extended the gas line. I brought it up to a gas dryer. So the thing I'm going to do is that I've got a gas line running down here and the gas line goes over here, goes out to our dryer. But right here, it's got a T and, and that T I'm going to connect a three quarter pipe line down this wall, through the wall and up to our gas stove. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention also is that um, on this line here, it's three quarter inch. It's called black pipe. Black pipe is for gas lines. Don't be afraid of installing this on your own. You know, if you have a plumber come out here, it'll probably cost $400 or $600. Black pipe is the way of identifying it's a gas line. If it's galvanized pipe, that's how you identify water. That's how people can come up and say, is this a gas line, is this a water line? But anyways, black pipe is, is the one on the gas line. But I mentioned I've got a T up here, and the T is where I'm just gonna unplug it. I pulled out the uh, 3 quarter inch pipe plug out of there, and, and then that's where I'm gonna tie in out to our stove. But if you don't have a T in your line already, all you do is pull off a section of pipe Bring it into the plumber shop. They cut it for you and they thread it for you. That there is all you have to do. Let me show you the parts right now. Okay, here's the parts I'm gonna be using today. I'm still missing a, a stainless corrugated flexible gas line. That one I'm gonna put on later, but I'm gonna drop off the line. And usually people use a three quarter inch black pipe. Um, this one here I bought it. I uh, repainted it. I just used flat black on it. So I got two elbows. I got one elbow on this side. The other elbow I already put up there at the nipple I pulled out. And I put a small six inch piece of, of the three quarter pipe on that. Now on that pipe on the roof, I'm gonna come down using this. And then this one here is gonna connect on the nipple. I mean on the elbow. And the elbow is going to go to a reducer, and then it's going to go, this here will be on the wall on one side, this will be on the wall on the inside, it'll go reducer, and then it'll go nipple, it'll go here onto the flare fitting, and then this one will go onto our flexible gas line. Okay, these are most of the tools I'm going to be using, a Phillips, a couple wrenches, pipe wrenches, tape measure, drill, a, a long drill as the uh, pilot drill, and then I'm going to use a hole saw. Okay, first thing you want to do before you start your job is uh, make sure gas is turned off. To turn it off, it's only valve I've got is the one directly at the gas meter, and so if the, if the valve is 90 degree of the gas line, that means it's off. I just turned it off. It was facing up and down vertically. I turned it horizontal at the 90 degree of the line. Then it's off, but you want to go verify it afterward. Don't just trust that. Go check if you've got gas flow. Okay, I'm gonna screw the uh, three quarter inch black pipe into the elbow up here now. Um, if you can see it, I put a brace in back of it and also a brace pulling down on top of it just so I can get a good angle at it. Also, you want to be really careful of these threads on here. It's really soft metal. So I put that inside there and just screw it in. I'm going to tighten this right here. As you can see, I can put pipe compound. I usually put it around the thread and I put it on the female threads too. I get both sides. But now I use a pipe fringe, grab on this side, and I just start tightening it up. Okay, I'm going to draw a circle around this here just to get centered on my pilot hole and for the hole through the wall. Got it. Okay, I got the hole, the circle drawn on there. Now I'll just sort of work an X across here just to get the center of it for the hole saw and the pilot saw. I mean the pilot hole. Okay, I've got the, the pilot drill bit inside the drill. 
Um, I'm going to drill all the way through the wall here. The wall's about four and a half inches wide. So it's reason for the pilot drill bit is because the hole saw, it'll drill this side, but I want to drill exactly on the same spot on the other side. So I'll use this as the pilot and I'll use the hole saw on the inside and hole saw on this side. Okay, I'm going to use a hole saw on the wall now. Okay, I'm putting pipe compound around the threads here on the male side, and also I put it on the female side here too. Then I put the cover over the pipe. Okay, so I screw this into the pipe. Okay, I'm going to start assembling the um, parts which are going to go inside the house. So the valve, or the nipple, or the reducer, and the wall plate. Okay, I'm going to put pipe thread compound around the threads. Then I'm going to put on the wall cover. I should have put on the wall cover first, but I did it backward. Okay, I'm going to put sealant around the hole right now. Um, I always like putting too much instead of not enough. I know a lot of people like to be sparing, but I'm going to pack this thing full right here. Okay, now I'm going to put sealant on the inside wall, and this one I'm going to pack it full. Then I'm going to put the wall plate on there. And so everything's finished now. I have the, vol the, the valve. I have everything connected up to the gas line. Gas is off. Um, it's the only thing I need and the only part I've got left to put on is the uh, corrugated stainless steel line. I'm probably going to get a five foot line, connect it here, and then, con and then connect it directly up to my stove. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is uh, turn on the gas valve over, over at the main supply and also I want to leak test it. For leak test, I have a spray bottle I use right here, but if you just use a bowl or a wipe or a sponge on top of it, you just want to get soapy water on top of the joints and make sure it doesn't start bubbling. Gas lines are usually about 5 psi, it's not a lot of pressure, but you want to see if there's any leaks. And so I'll put dish soap in here. and then I just put some water into it. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the gas valve. We see it's at a 90 degree. You wanna put it in parallel of the line there. Okay, that's on what's in line. And since I'm leak testing, I'm gonna leak test this a little bit too since I did movement on it. I don't see any bubbles, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna leak test all these joints, that one the top, that one, those at the elbow, and all the way down to the bottom. One thing I forgot to mention too, about these uh, short pieces of pipe, anything one foot in and under of the galvanized one inch, three quarters inch, and half inch, they sell them in one inch um, segments. And so, um, you know, if you get long pieces of pipe, it's got to be cut, it's got to be threaded, uh, special for your job. But on these short pieces of pipe, they sell them right there in the shop. Any good shop's going to have them available for you. So how about if we go leak testing this? I'll spray right up here. Don't see any bubbles. Don't see any bubbles. Spray that side. I see if there was a leak, 
you would actually see bubbles. It would, it would be like a bubble machine coming off of this thing. It would just be bubbling. Sometimes I might spray it and it shows a bubble on here, but it's gonna keep bubbling. You'll just see bubbles foaming off of it. So all these joints look really good. Okay, I'll leak test on the inside now. Just spray all over this. I don't see any bubbles. Everything looks really good. I'm really flooding this thing. You don't have to do this much, but I'm being extra safe. Okay, it's the only thing left, guys, is to connect up the uh, flexible stainless steel corrugated line from that valve up to the stove. I'm not going to do that in this video. I don't have the stove available. It's still on order, but that part's pretty easy. It's just half inch flared fitting on this valve, half inch flare on the stove five foot length of the flexible stainless steel corrugated line and it's all set. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.